Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In this video, I'm going to be going through five fun things you can do after you complete the story. The very first one being hunting slash fishing. So there will be some things you can do for hunting through the game, like completing all the satchel upgrades and the trapper saddles and stuff like that. They will give you a reason to go hunting. But after the game, like after the story, there is still a lot more to do. Because if we take a look in the progress and go to the compendium, there is 178 different animals to discover, along with 30 different fish. And I'm way past the story. My game save is almost 86%. And I have only discovered 7 fish and 82 different animals. So there is a lot to do with it. And you don't have to grind it, you can take your time, just relax and enjoy it. So that is number one. Go hunting, go fishing, complete the compendium for both. There is a lot to do in this game from all different areas. Like certain animals only spawn in certain areas of the map. Certain fish are only found in certain places, like different ponds and rivers and stuff. Number two is to become a criminal. After completing the story, you don't, well, throughout the entire story, you don't actually need to worry too much about your honor level. There is a whole video about that already on the channel, because there are certain perks that are worth having throughout the story. It's always good to have good honor through the story, because it will help you out. But after, it doesn't matter at all. So, you can go into towns, you can build up your bounty. I also did a video on the maximum bounty that you can get for each region. But just have some fun with it. Go into stores, like hold them up, rob the cash registers, hold people up in the towns because not only is it going to be something fun, there's also challenges to do in the game. There is 90 of them. And that is also going to get us into the third thing you can do for fun after completing the story in Red Dead Redemption 2. And that is to fill up the compendium completely. So as you can see there, there is 551 different things to do. You have animals, equipment, fish, gangs, plants, horses, weapons, and cigarette cards. There's 144 cigarette cards. I've only discovered 24, but all you really have to do is, like you can search for them. I believe they can all be found throughout the game world, but you can also buy packs of cigarettes in the general store, and they are going to come with cigarette cards. Weapons, there's 59 of them. There's 19 different breeds of horses. There is 43 different plants that can be found, and they're only found in certain areas. So that's a bit more exploration. There's six different gangs. I believe you're going to do all of those when you're completing the story. 30 fish, 72 different bits of equipment, which is like your lasso, your binoculars, the different satchels and stuff like that. So it's actually worth crafting everything. You've even got like the trinkets and stuff you can get from the fence. And then there's 178 different animals. Not just normal ones, there is the legendary animals too, like the buck, the bear. I believe there's 16 altogether, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And there's also legendary fish. Not only is that going to be something fun to do after you've completed the story, but that's also going to get you towards that 100% game completion. Number four is to find all the Easter eggs. There's plenty of Easter eggs. There's loads of different YouTube videos for them. If you don't want to grind and find them all out yourself, there's mysteries and everything like that. And that could be something fun to do. I know there's going to be a video coming soon on the channel. There's like a 42 foot snake that is found dead in the forest somewhere. There's like a UFO Easter egg. There's plenty of them. So that could be something fun for you guys to do. And the fifth and final thing, these are all from my personal opinion, what I think will be fun to do. And this one's going to take a lot of time. Some of you, like, you're not going to, like, you're probably just going to say you can't be bothered to do it. But that is to go and replay all of the story missions and get gold medals in them. Because not only is that going to give you a chance to replay the story, but it's also going to be tough because some of the challenges for the missions to get the gold medal can be a little bit of a grind. But I would say it's more fun than a grind to go back and get the gold medals. There's a lot of different stuff you can do in this massive open world. Those were just five things that I think could be fun for when you guys have completed the story. The story is amazing. I know a lot of you are taking your time with it. I personally have completed it now. And I want to know in the comments if you guys agree or disagree with me whether those things I've mentioned are fun. And if there's anything else that you guys do for fun in this game, let me know in the comments. Maybe we could do like another video with another five things or something like that. 
or like just in general let me know what you guys enjoy doing on the game for those of you that have completed the story or even if you haven't completed the story i'm interested to know what you guys are doing for fun in red dead redemption 2 whilst we're all waiting for online to drop which is hopefully coming at the end of this month so that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching